The wired internet in Berlin sucks. I guess it's all like from the middle ages or something. So with this new 5G craze, Berlin is getting 5G rolled out. And I thought that I would test a 5G router and some 4G routers and see if wireless internet in Berlin is comparable to wired internet. So I have three generations of wireless routers here. I have the B528S, which is a 4G router. And then I have a B818, which was really famous because apparently the antenna in this is really good. So this is also a 4G router. And then I got the 5G CPE Pro 2, which is actually an H122 3680. So I'm gonna hook them all up using Wi-Fi because that's what I use at home. And, uh, and then I'm gonna do a speed test and then I'll go to the diagnostics to show you which like cell ID and what kind of signal strength they have. And then we'll see if it really makes sense to use 4G or 5G routers in a little apartment somewhere in Berlin. Let's go. So first up, we have the B528S23A. So let's do a, a speed test and see what cell tower it's connected to. I'm gonna put it right here. This is the official testing spot right next to my laptop. Let's go to the screen. So we'll do a speed test. Let's do Berlin, Kronon, GmbH, 99 millisecond ping. That doesn't look very good. Seven Mbps down. So with the first 4G router, we have 99 millisecond ping, seven megabytes per second down, 7.15 megabytes per second up. So here we can see which cell ID we're connected to and we can see some reception stats, blah, blah, blah. It looks like cell tower 5919271. Here are the speed test results and the tower and, uh, and now it's time for the next one. Next up we have the B818. This uh, router was really like praised online in the forums because apparently it has a really nice antenna. And so a lot of people who had really shitty LTE connections before were suddenly able to get really good connections. So I'm excited to test this and see what kind of speed test results we get. I'll put it in the sacred spot here and three, two, one, speed test. Now we're looking at the B818. Wow, 36 millisecond ping, that's already a lot better. Looks like download speed still is not amazing. 36 millisecond ping, that's way better. 16 down and almost eight up. Here we see the cell ID, that's the tower it's connected to, and then you've got all of these uh, connection strength things, which I don't know what they mean, but hopefully if you're watching this and you are smarter than me, lots of potentially interesting stuff there. And now last but not least, onto our 5G router and into the secret spot, the 5G CPE Pro 2 goes. And three, two, one, 5G CPE Pro 2 speed test. 24 millisecond ping, that's definitely the best so far. Whoa, okay, that seems to make a big difference. All right, so with the 5G CP Pro 2, we've got 24 milliseconds down, or almost 50 down and seven up. That is our 5G cell ID there. Oh, okay, so it looks like the 5G has its own signal strength settings, which is cool. So hopefully for somebody out there, that is a useful test. It looks like 5G does give me better download and upload speed slightly and a little bit better ping. Yeah, so that was the comparison of the 5G CPE Pro 2, the Cat19 B818 here, and the B528, the old boy. I, I mean, I really like the convenience of having a router which I can move, for example, to any other room if I want stronger signal connection, or I can move to the park, or I can move to my office. Uh, so for me, the flexibility of having a SIM-based router is really nice, and I'm hoping that as the 5G rollout increases, that I'll continue to get a better internet connection in my house. This is what the uh, 5G CPE Pro looks like. Compared to the B818, it's a lot smaller. It's about the same size as the B528. Hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching.